Once upon a time in a city called Athens lived a young girl, Hermia, who had a forbidden love. Heard that Aegis was against her love for life under the man she loved. In fact, Aegis wanted Hermia to marry another man by the name Demetrius. Aegis complained to Theseus the Duke, who told Theseus, Full of vexation come I with complaint against my child, my daughter Hermia. Stand forth, Demetrius, my noble lord. This man has my conscience to marry her. Stand forth, Lysander, my gracious duke. This man had bewitched the bosom of my child. Demetrius was deeply in love with Hermia, but Hermia was in love with Lysander, who also loved her back. After the discussion of Hermia's future wedded life, she spoke with Lysander separately. He told her, I have a widow and a dowager, a great revenue, and she had no child. From Athens is her house remote seven leagues, and she respects me as her only son. They are gentle, Hermia, may I marry thee? And to that place the sharp Athenian law cannot pursue us. She promised to meet him the next night so that they could run away and get married. Hermia explained their plan to Helena about running away and getting married. Helen, to our minds we will unfold. Tomorrow night, when Phoebe doth behold her silver visage in the watery glass, decking with liquid pearl to the bladed grass, a time that lovers' flight doth to still conceal, through Athens' gate have we advice to steal. Helena realized that a lot of people were happy except for her. She realized what people do for love and immediately got upset, realizing that it would never be like that with Demetrius because he didn't love her back. She told herself, Through Athens I am thought as fair as she, but what of that? Demetrius thinks not so. Upset, she decided, I will go tell him of fair Hermia's flight. After Helena told Demetrius that Hermia and Lysander were planning to run away and get married, Demetrius ran after them. He got mad at Helena for following him. Do I tease you? Do I speak you fair? Or rather, do I not in the plainest truth? Tell you I do or not cannot love you, he told Helena. Helena responded to Demetrius telling him, I am your spaniel and Demetrius. The more you beat me, I will fawn you on, on you. In other words, she loves him under any circumstances and will continue doing so. Oberon and Robin are trying to find the love juice flower to put in the lover's eye. And once they find it, they head to a lover. You're not my lord, you should I'll do so, Robin. Robin has been walking around looking for Demetrius and Helena. He unfortunately mistakes Lysander for Demetrius, and as he puts the flower juice on his eyes so that he'll love Helena, he tells Lysander, churl upon the eyes and throw all the power the charm of oh, when thou wakest, let love forbid sleep his seed on thy eyes. Lysander woke up from his sleep and saw Helena and fell with him. After a bit of discussion, Lysander told Helena, could tell with her me, I know I do repent the tedious minutes I with her have spent. Not hurt me by Helena and love. Helena didn't believe his sudden switch of thought and believed that he was joking around. Angrily, she replies with, Wherefore was I to take this keen mockery born? When on your hands did I deserve the scorn? Helena thinks that Lysander and Demetrius are mocking her by saying they love her. When truth truth kills truth, O devilish holy fray, these vows are Hermia's. Will you give her o'er? Helena realized that Hermia is about to try fighting her since Lysander loves her now. She explained to the men something. Oh, when she's angry, she is keen and shrewd. She was a vixen when she went to school, and thou she but little, she is fierce. Robin is acting like Lysander when Demetrius is looking for them. Up and down, up and down, I will lead them up and down. I am feared in the field and town. Goblin, lead them up and down. Here comes one. Hermia hopes Lysander is safe while he is looking for Helena, and then, since she is tired, she goes to sleep. Here will I rest me till the break of day, heaven shield Lysander if they mean a fray. The four lovers woke up from their sleep. Aegeus and Theseus were there to witness everything. Lysander explained to everyone that the night before, Helena and him were going to escape, which upset Aegeus. However, Demetrius explained that he loved Helena once again and that he wants her, not Hermia. Theseus heard the whole explanation and came to an end. Aegeus, I will overbear your will, for in the temple by and by with us, these couples shall eternally be knit, Theseus decided. The lovers, Theseus and Hippolyta, Demetrius and Helena, Hermia and Lysander, got happily married to one another at the same time. They all enjoyed some entertainment brought to them by the king, Theseus. They all lived happily ever after. Oberon, Titania, and the fairies sang to bless the three couples for their love, life, and their future. 
the, the end. end.